Let's see what's in Cooney's corner. You know, I purposely didn't look up this guy's name because I didn't even want to mention it on air. Did you see the Twitter thing is of he, it? He's actually a good friend of mine. Yeah, he's an idiot is what he is. Like, to sit there and say, honestly, oh, Philadelphia fans, they don't even know. They, they, they're out there celebrating and climbing poles and, and all that, not even watching the game that's going to decide who they're going to play in the Super Bowl. That's how idiotic they are. And, like, goes overboard on saying it. Really? Is, is this because New York doesn't know how to celebrate because you never win anything to celebrate? Like, you're going to question Eagles fans and their knowledge or whatever? Uh, okay, do you not know what DVR is? Do you, like, oh, yeah, we're going to sit here. We're going to go out in three and a half hours and celebrate everybody because, you know, we got to watch this game now. Shut the f I, I swear to God, I wish this guy was here now. Like, shut up. Who the hell? Like, what are you, trying to make a name for yourself? Oh, Philly fans, they're stupid because they didn't sit on their couches and watch the game after the Eagles got to the Super Bowl on Sunday. You can defend your friend all you want, no, but this was I, asinine. I'm not, I don't defend Even it. Even worse I'm, than asinine. I'm not defending it at all. I think it's a ridiculous take, but you took the cheese. It's no, exactly what they were looking for. It's exactly okay, what John, you do it all the time, too, with the but national exactly, people. So what? He's an ass. A, no, but it's and a, I, yeah, I want to call him out as being an ass for but, not knowing what Philadelphia... It's the same thing you talk about. Oh, the national media, this and that and the other. They're lazy. This guy's lazy, and he's an ass. Uh, you know that... First of all, you know the person who took the video. I'll, I'll tell you. You know the person that took the video. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's exactly what they were trying to get. Okay, it doesn't to get, matter. No, but That's I mean, not the point. Well, it, it is. They were, they, it looks like you coming on and talking about, like, all the other people that say stuff about Philly. It's the same thing. But he was clowning. Is I don't what he's care trying what he's to... doing. He's an ass. And he, and he acts like, he acts like you know, uh, oh, yeah, they're, oh, that's another thing. Oh, tough guys. You're real tough guys, Philly fans. Okay. You're sitting up there in front of a little camera and, and calling Philly people asinine and idiotic? And we're the tough ones? That? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's uh, it's the. Have your friend come on down here and do a show. It's what I say uh, all the time, Pat. It's the, it is the hot take. Yes, it's and, the hot and take. And the person who took the video is known for hot takes. Is known for Shocking. hot take creating it, and that's exactly what they sought out to do. Yeah. And they knew that people would take the cheese and go over the top I about it. I I didn't <laughs> I didn't take too uh too much offense to it because it was so clownish. Obviously clownish. Yeah. Forced and contrived, and I'm not surprised that that jackass up there decided to do hot to take hot take radio up there. Um, what I will say is I, I never heard of this guy, and I'm actually happy that he did the video because then I googled him and found out he pooped his pants on air. Oh, he did. So I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> That's to like guy popular this week, isn't because it? Because he pooped his pants. Somebody on else air did box. that this week. Did Who you did see that? this? I don't know. I saw it on Twitter that a guy, Jamie actually retweeted. No, it. that's him. That's Moraz. No, well, that was... no, that is Moraz. He was retweeting that yeah. Moraz. Oh, because the picture that, that was, was on Jamie's thing wasn't this guy. Itch. It wasn't a chunky little fat guy that well, the guy that said this. This was another guy. guy. Now, the thing that Jamie tweeted, though, it looked like a skinnier guy. Well, big is beautiful. Yeah. No, I, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm just... it was Moraz who pooped his pants. He did. He pooped huh. his pants. It's a, uh... Don't bury the lead, Bobby. It, the guy it's... pooped his pants. It's a pant pooper. <laughs> it's... There is a, uh... There that is, video, by the way, is actually really funny. If you look it up of him, of him, like that whole exchange, it's hilarious. It is a funny and video. And he described it and all. And well, he came back and, and the, the host, the... Uh, you uh, know, Damon and Mendelar. Yeah, he's like, this dude's sitting here. He can't even look us in the eye. He looks like a dog that crapped <laughs> on the carpet, and he did. So I didn't take too much offense to it the, was the so, pants pooper it, coming in my city. It's so clownish, and it was... And it was and that was done. It's so clownish. Yeah, it's such an idiotic. It's such an idiotic take, which is what I called him out for on Twitter. I did. I said that is the that is so idiotic and so bitter, Betty. And uh, he does Giants, uh, the Giants coverage on FAN. Oh, okay. And he's a, and he's and he was doing the bitter Betty routine. Yeah, he's just upset. And that's all it is. It's just the bitter Betty. And it's clown. It was like, so clownish. It was a, it was a desperation heave, is what it was. Correct. Um, clown show. I felt like being behind the scenes and doing this this industry and whatnot. I felt like it was probably a statement that was thrown out there in a pre-show meeting as a joke. And the guy and they decided the guy to go real with it. And to go, you know, hey, like hype it up because I know how Philadelphia will act. And correct. Sure and you know what? You know, it pisses me off as a radio person I agree that you're going to throw an act out there. Like, you're supposed to get on there and give your feelings and your opinions and whatever. And if, you know, 
He's not true to his yeah, beliefs. Yeah, but you know that you says. know that that's not this industry anymore. <laughs> what? You, you see, you're defending the guy. No, I'm saying. No, it's you just, are. No, I'm not. You're I saying said, that I took the cheat. You're defending Bob, I, the guy. Bob, I flat out called Look, it a clown. He's a friend of yours. I called like it a clown. I called it a clown. I called him out on it. I retweeted it. He's a moron it. and an ass. You're hanging out with him tonight. It's a clown. It's a clown. You're going take. up to New York this week. You're watching the Super Bowl with him. Say it. Admit it. Uh, we know as as no the person who takes the video, it's exactly what they look and they knew what it would do. Yeah, I, they knew it would go he, viral. He did hot take radio here <laughs> and he brought hot take radio up there. It's not. And it's I'm with the, you, Bob. Like I I, right? I I don't like a lot of the his, him or his minions because of the fact that I always looked at it like it gave our industry a bad a bad name. Like I get pissed off when people went, oh the Travis Fulgham take that Egan had. It was hot take. No, it wasn't. Like I don't give me that much credit. I was an idiot. No, you weren't trying. to I do was that. a jackass who thought Travis Fulgham was have a thousand yards. I didn't. I didn't sit there in the lab contriving a, a, a hot take thought. Yeah, that's why that's we... giving me too much credit. That's why we don't do the show before the show. No, because everything we Because we don't say sit is. and orchestrate what Pat's going to say, what Bob's going to say, what I'm going to say. Our dumb points are real, folks. Yes, we just, they come <laughs> flying out. <laughs> they just idiots. come flying out From of our mouths. From the heart. Morons. And Bob, if any of us ever did that, that would be crap. That yeah. would be absolute crap. Yeah. As a, an absolute idiotic thing. But there is a portion of our industry that thrives on that. That that literally now that is their fastball. I, I can't stand it. Oh, it's, it's like ridiculous. That's uh, why I we don't you... that's why we don't do it. Yeah, I think it gives the industry a bad name. Because it is a that is a lot of the industry's fastball right now. It's a shame. But that's the way it works. Uh guys like uh, Skip Bayless got it started. Yep. And then others just jumped on board. It's the thing you make a lot of money, don't it? Yep, can keep it going. Uh there are gonna be points scored in this Super Bowl.